Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let us see in today's a video how to create a black theme or the dark theme which you use in your mobile phones. The same thing in your uh, website by using just HTML and CSS. Without wasting some time, let us start this. As we all know, this is our index.html, this is our styles.css, and this is our preview tab. So to get the HTML basic snippet, HTML5, here we have it. Next is, here we have to link the HTML as well as the styling sheet. To link that, we have the link tag. And here we are going to link with the file name. Okay, so let's start it. First, I'm going to add a label tag. Inside this label tag, I'll be creating one import. Type is equals to checkbox. Now here you can see a checkbox which has been created. If you're going to check this, it is going to show you. If you're going to uncheck it, it is going to just go off. Just reopen the preview tag. Okay, so here it is. Check, uncheck. So with this check, I'm just going to use one more span tag here. And for this span tag, I'm going to give the class is equals to theme. So that later when I have to style it, I'm, I use this. Now let's go to the styling. Here in the styling, let's start with the body first. So for the body tag, margin, we are going to give it as zero pixels. Then padding, zero pixels. Position, absolute. From the left, it should move on to up to 50%. Now it is in the middle. You can see this, this checkbox that is there, it is in the middle now. Next. From the top as well, I want it at a 50% below. And transform, translate it, minus 50%, comma, minus 50%. So it is in the middle now. So that's all we want for the body. Next is we have to remove this square checkbox. To remove that square checkbox, what do we have to do is we have this selector that is called as attribute selector, which you can use in your CSS. So all you have to do is paste it over here and put a square box for this. So this is known as the attribute selector, which is used to style your particular attribute. Now we have one property that is a WebKit, WebKit appearance. So with, with this WebKit appearance property, you can just remove that particular checkbox. Now, can you see this checkbox over here? Now, if I'm going to give a none, the checkbox is gone. Now, okay, fine. Next, we have one more thing that is a visibility that we are going to give it as hidden. hidden and then display none we don't want to display anything so for now i'm just giving it because i want to style the customized checkbox so to do that we are doing this next let's design the customized checkbox or the toggle button so what i'm going to do is the span the span class that i had used here inside this checkbox the same thing i'm going to use here so i'm just going to give it as a theme so here the position will be absolute. I'm going to display it in block size. And the width of this checkbox should be about 80 pixels. And the height of this checkbox should be about 40 pixels. Save this. Let me give the border first or the background. Then you are going to understand it. Background black. Now, can you see this checkbox over here? Now, with the help of this checkbox, we are going to do the styling. Next, cursor. Whenever I'm going to hover on this curse, on this uh, box, it should change the cursor. Now, you can see that it is a pointer. Whenever you're going to hover out, it is a normal arrow mark. Perfect. Next, outline. I don't want any outline for that. So, I'm just going to give none. A border to be a bit slant. So, I'm going to give border radius of about 20 pixels. Perfect. All right. Now, soon after this, I want something else for this checkbox. That is always it should be checked. Let me just add it. Paste this checkbox. We have one pseudo property that is checked. And just give a tilt for this theme. 
I want the background to be white and box shadow should be 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0 pixels. Now you'll understand why is this. The next black. Save it. Can you see this? Whenever I'm clicking it, it is turning on black and white mode. So this is the black and this is white when I'm going to check it out. After this, now let us see. So this is really sharp. That is red, white and black. It is really sharp. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add certain transition here for this so that it is smoothly going to do it. So I'm just going to add the transition that is ease 0.5 seconds. So just save it. Now let us see. So we can see that this is coming at ease and going at ease. Okay, so we have added certain transition for this. Now next, let us see if I can add one slider from here to here. So for that, for this theme, you have this before pseudo class content zero. Background color should be white. And the width of it will be 30 pixels. Height will be of 30 pixels. Border radius 50%. Save it. After the height and the width, let us add the position here. Position absolute. Now we can see that this has been cut off. Now we are going to just style it. I'll just give the border radius to be 50%. Okay, now it is a circle. Let us arrange it. From the left side, I'll uh, move it to 5 pixels. Okay. From the top, I'll again move it to 5 pixels. Now you can see that we have this button. So whenever I'm going to on it, it is giving me the black theme. And whenever I'm going to again click it, it is giving me the white theme. Now I'll just give some transition for this 0 0.5 seconds. Save it. Okay, now we can see this as well is just giving out the color in an ease effect. It is also giving it in the transition effect. It is not that sharp. Now, let us see how to toggle that. Again, with the same thing that is there here, I'm just going to take it, copy this, paste it over here. And this will be for the before. And here I'm going to give transform translated in the X axis to minus 50 pixels. Save it. Now we can see this here. It is coming out here. So what I want is, I'll just give the overflow to be hidden. So it is overflowing from that theme. So I want, I don't want that. So I'll just give overflow hidden. Now let us check it out. Okay, fine. It is just going away. We are going to use the after effect. Copy this after effect and just paste it over here. And here I'll just give it as after and this one that is there this will be turned to black save it check this out but there is one slight mistake that is there just that is the round that is there inside this it is just going from there it's not coming over here so what i have to do for that is here i have to give one thing that is a transform translate it to 50 pixels that is plus 50 pixels let us see how it is going to happen Perfect. It is coming here. Can you see this? It is coming here somewhere. I'm just going to take this as well. Copy this. Paste it here. And here we are going to write the after. And this will be 0 pixels. Save it. Now you can see that the same thing that is there. The button that is the toggle button. It is just working fine for us. So we are toggling for the black. If I'm going to, if I'm going to click on the black. It is going to toggle me the same thing. So it is in the white theme now. So let us make it in the dark. It is like this. Now you can see whenever you're going to check this button, you're going to see the dark theme. And when you're going to check off, then it is the light theme. This is how you can create a simple checkbox in a toggle button and also how it is shown in the dark and the light themes. This is all for today's video. For further such videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Stay tuned till the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Keep learning.